hello everyone welcome back to another tutorial and uh, I'm going to show you another way of grouping cues and this way we're going to use the parent child um, method like what we did in the first two tutorials and uh, this is what we're going to configure so we're going to have two groups one for Wi-Fi users and one for guests and uh, these are the speed the bandwidth limits that is going to be set on the parent queue and these are what is going to set for the for each child queue and just as and similarly we're going to do the same for guests but with different um, bandwidth limit so let us head over to winbox and put in this configuration so this is what we had in the previous um, con um, pre previous tutorial so I'm going to remove them and uh, we're going to start creating our queues. So the first queue is for Wi-Fi. It was Wi-Fi users we had. So we'll say Wi-Fi users. And the target, I'm going to use the first three um, users for the target. So I'm going to use 192.168 dot eight eight dot two four nine and I'm going to add an X IP two five zero and two five one and the limit on this is five twelve and the download is five megabits advance and the queue type we're going to select PC PC queue download default um, upload and uh, PC queue download default for the queue type apply so this is the first group and now we're going to, so this is a parent group for Wi-Fi wi users and now I'm going to create the child queues so I'm just using the IP address for the users. So this has nothing to do with the interface that the user is connected to. I'm just using strictly IP addresses for this queue. So this can be Wi-Fi users or maybe users in, this could be the IT users, what, whatever users it is. I'm just showing you how to group them. So I'm really doing a group based on IP address and not what interface they really connect. So he, although a user might connect by wireless say for instance these are the IP address for those wireless users so you would put them here if, if that's the case so I'm going to add some child queues for each for for each one of the users there so I'm going to call this one user 1 and this is 249 for user 1 and uh, each user would have 256k up and 2 megs down so 256k and 2 megs down so this is a so these are the queues that we're going to create and uh, the queue type we're going to use the PC queue upload default and we're going to use the download default and what I'm going to do I'm just going to make a copy of of this queue to make it to make creating these queues much faster 250 and 251 alright you notice the queues are the, the queues are not lining um, not in in hierarchical manner that means they are not a child queue of the first queue and the reason is is this let us go over to advance this is what needs to be selected so we need to choose a parent for the queues and this is what we need to do for all 
the users we're going to choose a pairing queue that they're going to be associated with so this is how you get them to fall in a group so all these queues are child queues of this parent queue so we're going to create another parent parent queue and this one would be guest users and these users would be 192.168.88. So we're going to use 252, 253, 254, 252, 253, and 254. And the maximum limit upload is 256k and 2 megs down so 256 and 2 megs down and the queue type is pcq upload default and pcq download default then uh, so we have created the next one For, we have created guests and now we're going to create the users and the guest users have 128k up and one make down so call this user user one and the IP address for guest user one is one ninety two dot one six eight dot eight eight uh, 252 and it's 128 and 1 meg and the uh, queue type upload is the default so using by the defaults but what we're going to change is the parent and the parent for this one will be guest users so this is a guest user one apply and we're just I'm just going to make a, a copy of this user. Oh, um, guest user two, and this is two five three, and all all the other settings remain the same. So I'm not going to change any other setting except the target and the name. Apply. Make a next copy. guest user 3 and this is 254 okay okay let me expand this so you can see it much better all right so we have created uh, two groups of users one for guests and one for Wi-Fi users and these are the users that are associated with each so what if you notice that I've put in the IP address in the target for the parent because we want to specify the users that we are expecting to be um, a part of this group if you are adding additional IP addresses you need to put the IP address in this group because all these IP addresses are in the same subnet so like what we did um, in in the early tutorial where I'd use something like 192.168.88.0 slash 24 we couldn't use it here because both um, queue, parent queues will be in conflict if both of them as this because this really mean the entire subnet um, this the queue would be uh, managing and we don't want that so we want to manage the queues or manage a uh, a particular set of users and these are the users so I'm going to do a download test and let you see the queues in action alright so I've started the downloads and uh, these are the queue this is how the queues look in action and uh, the Wi-Fi user queues you're seeing all these queues in red and if you notice the guest users queue 
or in yellow and the reason is um, because of the the maximum limit of the queue is so low that the traffic is 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 divided um below the one meg w way below one meg so it's actually almost i'll i'll say three quarter of the of of the the maximum limit so it is in yellow but if it is more than that like just like if you look at the wi-fi user queue it would be in red and the maximum bandwidth that would be utilized by the guest users is two megabits which was the maximum that we set um, for that set of users and for the Wi-Fi users it would not pass the five megabits uh, so that's it for this tutorial if you like this video please remember to give me a thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed please remember to do so and thanks for watching